In this video, we will be counting down the best suspense thriller movies to watch on Netflix. If you're looking for movies that will keep you on the edge of your seat, we've got you covered. All the movies are personal favorites and if you have missed any of these, make sure to check them out. With all that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Starting off at number 10 is, Run. It is a story about the relationship between a mentally disturbed mom and her physically challenged teenage daughter on a wheelchair. Run is not a complex mind-bending psychological thriller, it was built on the conventional thriller plot where you can guess the storyline within the first 20 minutes, but the film keeps the audience on the edge with its intensity and gripping screenplay with its unique style of storytelling. Both the lead characters delivered one of their finest career performance and justified their screen presence. The film received generally positive reviews from critics and became Hulu's most successful original film upon its release. You need me. Number 9, Berlin Syndrome. A 2017 psychological horror thriller film directed by Kate Shortland is based on the 2012 novel of the same name by Melanie Eusen. The film follows a young Australian photographer, played by Teresa Palmer, who travels to Germany, where she meets an attractive young English teacher. But what initially appears to be the start of a romance suddenly takes an unexpected and sinister turn when Claire wakes the following morning to discover Andy has left for work and locked her in his apartment. The movie shows the control, fear and power held by the captor and putting yourself in the victim's position really helps to understand what they are feeling. One to ten. Next on the list is, Oxygen. It is a French psychological thriller directed by experienced director Alexander Aya and stars Melanie Laurent and Matthew Amalric. After a woman wakes up in a cryogenic chamber with no memory of who she is or how she got there, she realizes the chamber is quickly running out of oxygen and must work with an AI to find a way to escape before time runs out. From the beginning to the end, suspense is maintained as the main character keeps unfolding facts. What Oxygen does better though, produce a more visually striking film with some interesting science fiction concepts that explore thematic elements regarding the nature of consciousness and the drive for human survival. Number 7, Gerald's Game. The story is about a woman whose husband dies of a heart attack while she is handcuffed to a bed and she is trapped with little hope of rescue. The film also lucidly explores the devastating effects of the incipient mind of a child caused by the trauma as a result of an unhealthy family incident that eventually pervades into one's adult life, manifesting as a living curse and destroying every aspect of life, and also how much sacrifice it takes to ultimately get one's life tracked back to normal mode. Director Flanagan never ceases to amaze us with his literary genius and he is especially a true master of direction when it comes to horror and thriller genres. Back up. If you don't wake up, you're gonna die. Moving on, at number 6 is The Devil All the Time. The film follows several characters whose stories weave together in two southern Ohio towns during the period from the end of World War II to the 1960s. The cast is absolutely great. Each one of the actors played their role with such honesty and sincerity that you just couldn't help but admire all of them. But the one that stood out for me was Robert Pattinson. It's a film that makes you think about yourself, question your beliefs and whether it's all just randomness or divine intervention. The Devil All the Time was released on Netflix on September 16, 2020. Not because I want to. Number 5, The Platform. A Spanish science fiction thriller about a prison designed in tower format where prisoners are fed with the help of a platform that travels across the tower which moves from top to bottom with a system that each inmate should consume only their share of food. It turns out to be the prisoners at top levels more than required leaving the others below them starving. It leads to bringing out the wilderness and cannibalism among prisoners. This movie is a mirror of our society and it is depicted with this figurative drama. It teaches you many things about human nature and a moment to introspect about our own selves. Number 4, Bad Genius. Inspired by real-life news of students cheating on the SAT, 
The film transplants the heist structure to a school exam setting and features themes of class inequality as well as teenage social issues. Lin, a genius high school student who makes money by cheating in examinations, receives a new task that leads her to set foot in Sydney, Australia. In order to complete the Millions Bot task, Lin and her classmates have to finish the international STIC exam and deliver the answers back to her friends in Thailand before the exam takes place once again in her home country. A very suitably paced movie all through the 130 minutes. At the third spot, we have Nightcrawler. This is a film about a heartless sociopath who goes to extensively dangerous lengths in his crime and accident filming career to earn big money and earn the respect of a certain lady in news broadcasting company. This man is emotionally unshakable, relentlessly determined, yet witty and smart, weaving his way through many opposers that are attempting to bring his job down. He will lie, scheme, and dodge his way through the journey of his career in a seemingly deceptive manner in order to be self-sufficient and successful. Jake Gyllenhaal plays an outstanding performance as Lewis, and implants in the mind such an unforgettable face. To change the world. I think Lou is inspiring all of us to reach a little higher. Number 2, The Call. It is a Korean fantasy mystery thriller released in 2020 on Netflix. The film opens with a breathtaking wide angle shot on a riverside where the protagonist Seo Yun was introduced. She moves into a new house and soon she gets a call from an anonymous person by the name of Young Suk, but surprisingly she is 20 years behind from the present time and she lived in the same house. The film unfolds how these two characters influence each other in past and present incidents. Overall, The Call is a solid entertainer from start to end. Number 1, Shutter Island. Released back in 2010 and still, it is one of the best suspense thriller movies ever created. In this twisted psychological drama directed by Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio plays a U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels set off on an investigation at an island that is currently a mental asylum. Mark Ruffalo plays Chuck investigation partner of Teddy on the case of a mental patient disappearance. In the first half of the movie, you will not understand anything and you will be wondering what is happening, but as the second half starts things will change and you will understand what was really happening throughout the film. You'll never leave this. Thanks for watching, that's all for the video, do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more top 10 videos.